Okay, so good morning by the way students. Good day everyone. So for this week po, uh, we'll have our uh, online recorded discussion. So I will upload this uh, recorded discussion for this tab. Okay, for this week tab. Okay, okay, let's start. Okay, so let's start. Mm. Okay, so first uh, uh, first topic for this uh, week 10, uh, week 11 module. It's all about the problem solving strategies. Okay, in under in the problem solving strategies, okay, we have the guess and check. Okay, in short terms, trying out to get the correct answer. Trying out to get the correct answer. So, so we, when you are not sure how to start, guess and check, and then check. Okay, guess and answer, and then check it. Okay, you're by estimating. So, in the process of checking a guess, so you may see a way of revising your guess to get closer to the answer or to get the exact answer. Okay, if you are not sure, if you are not sure uh, that. Uh, your solution are correct so you need to revise it to get the correct or the exactly answer the exact answer okay example number one so glenda okay bought books and cd as gifts okay all together okay pinagsama-sama she bought 12 gifts and spent 840 pesos okay so the books cost 60 pesos each and the CDs cost 90 pesos each so how many of each gift did she buy okay class uh, si Glenda nakapalit siya of duha ka gifts okay uh, kanang duha ka uh, kanang duha ka gifts 12 gifts na sila, sila tanan then mabayaran niya is 840 pesos then so the books cost okay for each book cost 60 pesos and the CD 90 pesos each so ang tanong ngayon okay, pila daw how many okay how many okay, ilang books or CDs ang mapalit niya tanan kung ang books is 60 pesos for each then 90 pesos for CDs okay so apply uh, by applying the folias four step method in problem solving Okay, the fall is four step mat uh, four steps method okay the first step class is understand the problem okay so understand the problem so you need to uh, read the problem repeatedly okay so first 840 pesos will be spent to buy 12 gifts diba all together 800 uh, 840 pesos will spent to buy that 12 gifts and the gift should be books and see this the cost so the cost of each book 60 pesos okay and 90 pesos for uh, the cds respectively so it is uh, to find out how many books and cds will be bought okay so ang tanong niya how many books and cds all together will be buy okay for each book and the cds also okay step two okay the step two method device a plan okay so one method is to solve uh, one method to solve this problem is to make a reasonable guess okay reasonable guess and then using the result to make a better guess until you get the right a number of books and series to be bought for 840 pesos okay so okay uh, the third method or the third step using the folios problem solving to carry out the plan okay so carry out the plan so uh, it involves the solution on the problem uh, or the methods or solution more okay the guest one okay the guess one okay the guess one we need to guess an answer okay try out tayo start in using the same number of books and cds diba uh, all together is 12 diba 6 book and 6 cds diba 12 siya guess 1 pa lang ito ha guess 1 or try out na number 1 so 6 books daw let's try kung 6 books and 6 cds daw 
di ba sa six books di ba sixty pesos per each book di ba per each book uh, so let's try to multiply so six times sixty di ba three hundred sixty pesos and what if six CDs so let's try to answer so six times ninety five hundred forty pesos okay pag all together pinagsama-sama mo or let's try to add the two gifts the books and CDs so let's try to uh, add so 360 pesos plus 540 pesos for the CDs and 360 pesos for the books so meron tayong 900 pesos so that means 900 pesos then ang nabayaran ng Glenda is 840 pesos so dili siya pwede Okay, so guess one is wrong na. Okay, so we need to revise the guess one. Okay, you need to, uh, you need fewer CDs to bring the total cost down. So let's try to lower these six CDs. I lower na to siya. Okay, so five CDs na lang and add tayo ng one don sa books. So five, uh, seven plus five. Yan, di ba? Twelve then. Twelve sila. So let's try to multiply. So, what is the product of 7 times 60 pesos? So, 7 books times 60 pesos for each. So, 420. Then, 5 times 90, 450. Okay, for the CDs. So, 420 plus 450, 870. Okay, so, wrong na. Mali. Okay, mali na siya. So, guess 2 class is wrong na siya. So, mali siya. Okay, let's try to answer by... Okay, we need to revise to get the correct answer. What if uh, we add one in uh, in the books? Diba? Eight books na. Then four CDs. So let's try to answer. Diba? Eight plus four, twelve din. Twelve gives lahat. So eight times sixty, uh, diba? Sixty pesos for each books. So eight times sixty, four hundred eighty. Then four times ninety, ninety pesos for each uh, CDs 360 so 480 plus 360 so the sum of 480 plus 360 840 pesos so check so pwede na diba so review the solution okay, that would be the final step in the police four step method so we have uh, made three guesses okay diba three guesses so it was check that eight books will cost eight 480 and the CDs will cost 360 pesos and the 12 groups have a total cost of 840 so that means class uh, the correct answer is how many of each gift so that means we need to buy uh, we need to buy uh, Glenda buy 8 uh, Glenda bought 8 books and uh, 8 books and 4 CDs okay all together she bought uh, spent 840 pesos. Okay, so that would be the guess and check under in the problem solving. Okay, next naman is make a table, uh, table and look for a pattern. Okay, so some problem describe a relationship that involve regular sequence of number or other things. To solve the problem, you need to be able to recognize and describe the pattern that gives the relationship for a numbers for the numbers of things so one way to recognize the information given is a make uh, a make a table plus if uh, uh, not all the problem is guess and check diba? so some of the problems uh, it involves making a table tabular okay so we need to make a tabular okay so example number one Number two pala. Okay, sample number two. So, a tree farm is planted as shown at the right. So, the dots represent trees. So, the lot will be enlarged by adding larger squares. So, how many trees will be in the first squares? Okay. So, as you can see, class, so in this uh, illustration, okay, so the dotted point representing a tree. Okay. So each um, distance for this dotted trace 
two feet. Okay, two feet yung distance nila. Di ba? Okay, so mga trees ito. So, ang tanong niya, how many trees will be in the fifth square? So, meron tayong first, okay, the first square, the second square, and the third square. And ngayon, what in the fifth square? So, how many trees daw? So, apply, by applying the, uh, the Polyus fourth step method, okay, first step, understand the problem. Okay, so the distance between the two trees is two feet. So, there are four trees in the first square. So, meron tayong four trees in the, fifth, uh, the first square. And 12 trees naman in the se second square. And the 20 trees in the third square. Okay, 20 trees, 20 trees na daw in the third square. So, it is to find the number of trees to be planted in the fifth square. Okay. So, the second step, okay, applying the device plan. Okay, device a plan yan. So, a table may help you to see the, the relationship of the number of trees planted on each square. So, find, uh, find the pattern and solve the problem. So, we need to find the pattern. Meron yung pattern. And solve it. Okay? So, carry out the plan. So, yan. So, in carrying out the plan plus, okay, it involves uh, the tabular or the table. Okay, make a table to help find the pattern. Diba? Okay, in the f uh, first row, in the first row, okay, square position, and the second row, number of trees. Okay, in the in the first row class, in the first row, okay, so, in the first, uh, first square position, ito, diba, May, meron tayong four number of trees. And the second square, ito, 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 second square yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, meron siyang 12. And the third square naman, okay, so meron siyang 20 number of trees. And how about in the fourth and the fifth square? So, we need to find what in uh, what is in the fourth and the fifth square. So, pattern, diba? Eight more trees are planted in each larger square. Diba? At the more, nga magdako ang iyahang square, mag-add siya ng eight, diba? Four, uh, 12 minus 4, diba? 8. Diba? The difference of 12 and 4 is, is equal to 8. Then, 20 minus 12 is 8 siya. So, that means, class, in the fourth square, diba? 20 plus 8, 28 and in the fifth square so 8 28 plus 8 36 okay so 8 more trees are planted in each larger square so answer there are 36 trees in the fifth square okay review the solution so since 8 more trees are planted in each larger square so the fourth square will have 28 trees and the fifth square will have 36 trees. Okay, so that would be uh, the final answer. Okay, class, so that would be all uh, our topic for this uh, week po. Okay, it's all about the problem uh, solving strategies. Okay, so take note, class. Okay. Uh, okay, so that would be all uh, the topic in the. Uh, uh, in the lesson 3, call your first step in problem solving. Okay, so naalang ko additional in the activity to the uh, activity 2 sa magic square. Uh, dito sa first uh, first na uh, table. Ko. Okay. I change lang tong diagonal nga. Diba na may diagonal nga 2, 5, and 3. So katong 3, imo ato siya 8. Ha? Okay, so that would be all. And after watching this uh, recorded discussion class, just type your name and also your section. Okay, so, and thank you everyone and get this one.
Hola, pa. Caramba, está. Caramba, hoy ya está. A ver, ¿qué hay? ¿Termina esta misa? ¿Qué hay? 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 